jujitsu, the gentle art, and how it can make you more efficient. What's up? So Brazilian jiu-jitsu, or jiu-jitsu at least, translates as the gentle art. And what that kind of means in my mind is that uh, with the technique that we learn in Brazilian jiu-jitsu, um, our goal is to be to have maximum efficiency with minimum effort. And that's where the, the, the concept of gentleness comes in maximum efficiency with minimum effort and that is a uh, you know a long journey uh, in jiu-jitsu because in the beginning you don't have the technique uh, to replace the strength and not to say that strength isn't important um, it's a good attribute to have um, but it, it shouldn't be what we rely on and what we um, focus on you know, when it comes to uh, competitive jiu-jitsu, where you have weight classes and equal skill level, um, then the strength is going to matter, you know, because if we're at equal, somewhat of an equal skill level, um, then strength is going to make a difference. Athleticism is going to make a difference. But if I'm going against somebody even twice my size that does not know jiu-jitsu, and I have a high level of jujitsu, the strength isn't going to matter so much. Uh, jujitsu will overcome in that situation. But that's how that, that's where that comes from. You know, it's not that strength doesn't matter. Um, it does matter, uh, but it just depends on um, how you're approaching it. But maximum efficiency with minimum effort, that's our goal. That's what we strive for in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, at least me personally. Um, and Every time I step on the mat, I'm trying to work towards that particular goal. So, um, how can that help uh, in life? Well, you know, you want to learn to be efficient in everything, right? To have maximum efficiency um, is awesome. You know, if you could be in a conversation and be super efficient in that conversation with minimum effort, uh, that would be fantastic, right? Or if you could be at... Um, work and be super efficient in your job with minimum effort that would be awesome right so um, there's many ways that you can look at it and the practice of jujitsu kind of teaches you that you can do this right like you learn to overcome people um, that you just didn't think that you'd be able to overcome and you learn to overcome them um, with minimum effort even uh, in time and so you kind of learn that lesson well this is possible uh, you learn that lesson in jiu-jitsu and so it's just a matter of learning how to apply that to different areas in your life what you're learning is that with proper training with proper technique with proper uh, balance timing leverage with proper strategy um, this is possible so you have to take those concepts and apply it to other areas of life um, and it's going to look different, obviously, than what it looks like on the mat when you're training jiu-jitsu. But um, there, there is a way. And um, gentleness is, some people look at that as, as weakness. But really, uh, gentleness is power under control. So what, what is power, really, unless you have the ability to control it? And that's even to be able to reduce it or to increase it as needed and that's what gentleness is it's the ability to do that so gentleness is a is a great attribute to have um, you know if you take something as simple as a basketball shot you know a foul line shot uh, you have to execute the perfect amount of energy in order f to get a swish you know for the ball to go through the net and the net only the amount that you the amount of power or effort that you put into that shot has to be perfect right look at it that way that's um, that's what gentleness kind of is it's it's not too much it's not too little it's it's finding that that perfect place and that's a it's a great attribute to have um, it's it's definitely something worth um, practicing 
and trying to uh, increase upon. Um, the, the practice of jujitsu, being the, the gentle art, um, should also tailor over into learning to be a gentle man, you know, a gentleman. Uh, and that comes, once again, you know, that doesn't take away from your, your manliness to be gentle towards others and to be respectful and kind and courteous. Um, it's actually a demonstration that you have yourself under control and you're able to um, treat others in a manner uh, that demonstrates that you can kind of like, um, you know, sometimes we, you know, we feel challenged by other people and therefore we put on fronts and, and, and we try to be something, um, that we feel we need to be for whatever reason. But when you are able to kind of put on gentleness and not worry about those things and just treat others with respect and kindness and goodness and not feel you know like you have to be the number one all the time and the most important um that really shows confidence you know above all things that shows that you're comfortable with who you are and comfortable with even even pushing others before you because um, you don't you don't need that to feel good about yourself so uh, yeah the practice of gentleness is 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 a display of power really a display of confidence uh, a display of courage even so gentleness is a really good thing and jujitsu the practice of jujitsu does teach us um, this kind of gentleness but that's on the mat you know we want to learn to carry this off the mat into our relationships into our other jobs if we have them or whatever it may be it's a very powerful and a very good thing so I encourage you to practice uh, gentleness uh, practice being uh, efficient having maximum efficiency with minimal effort um, and trying to discover new ways to do this and again, you guys, if you, if you think this is an um, interesting topic, something that you enjoyed, please like it. Uh, thanks, Kim, for watching. Hope you guys are doing good. We miss you guys. Hope um, everybody's doing well. Um, but if this is something that uh, you enjoy and like, please share it. Please like it. And please comment. You know, anything, all your comments are always useful and helpful, and I'd like to hear about them. So thank you very much for watching. And again, if you're interested in training in jiu-jitsu, the gentle art, um, you know, you don't have to get hurt training jiu-jitsu. Uh, we do actually talk about the proper ways to practice jiu-jitsu here as the gentle art. Um, we even have classes that kind of focus more on being light. Um, then give us a call at 301-682-8589 or visit clinchacademy.com and we'd love to hook you up with two free classes. All right, you guys, have a great day.